Thanks for the dietitian and Floyd at Kellogg. And I am absolutely thrilled to be here. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, I'm a mom of four kids, 12 to 17. And uh, my youngest is a daughter, and I am absolutely, absolutely thrilled to be a part of Grow Up. Um, because, um, you know, this is an exciting time um, for young people. And so today, we want to be able to talk about and bring forward how we can uh, really fuel not only our bodies, but our inner strength. And I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of background information, um, and um, then we'll have a little bit of fun at the end. Um, and if you have any questions at any time, you know, please stop me, because that's why I'm here for you. Um, I really want to be able to, to provide that for you. Now, in your packets, um, you, in your bags, you received a little um, in a folder, and it's got some information in it. In this, um, we have a lesson plan called Feeding Your Strong. That's what we're doing today because it's based on um, an article that we did on your website, a Nutrition 101 article. And so these two pieces together, along with what you're um, experiencing today, I'm calling it a train the trainer because I would love for you to be able to take this information back to your Grow Up Clubs and be able to talk about nutrition um, in an easy and informative way and also have, to have a little fun too, okay? With that, um, I want you to think about these words. Mindful, purposeful, with intention. And kind of think about what does that bring to your mind as you are thumbing through those words and using them. Now, when I talk about a context of those same words about what you eat, does that change things a little differently? Have you thought about that before? being mindful about what you eat, or purposeful, or intentional. Those are the things that I want to kind of set the tone for what we're going to talk about. Because when we think about food, um, we're going to talk a little bit about what a healthy eating pattern is today, ways to fuel your day, and how lifestyle and nutrition is linked to your inner strength. And like I said, hopefully we'll have a little fun at the end. Well, Really, when we come to think about nutrition, food, etc., it's all about balance. It's about balance because food is more than just simply nutrients. It's tied to our culture, it's tied to our celebrations. Every culture in the world has food tied to their celebrations. So it's something more than just what we eat, it's how we eat and who we eat with, right? Food is meant to be enjoyed as much as it's meant to fuel your body um, and, and strength. And it, again, it's all about balance. And so I want us to be mindful and purposeful and intentional about, about what we eat because that does not only help us fuel our bodies, but it helps fuel our community too. It helps us um, use food in a way that is enjoyable as well as healthy. So what, um, especially this day and age, what we eat is very personal. And everybody eats. So everybody has opinion about what they eat, their likes, their tastes, etc. A lot of times that shows up on social media, right? People posting pictures about you know their food they're eating, or you know this thing's bad, this thing's good. I'm gonna you know not eat this anymore, etc. So what I want you to keep in mind is that <clears throat> in general we have some really good and in the U.S. it's called the Dietary Guidelines. In other countries, they have their own dietary guidance too, so I would encourage you, if you're not in the U.S., to take a look at what your government's um, nutrition recommendations are. And this is sort of, I, I kind of want to level set, this is a foundation for us to kind of think about. Um, it's sort of like when you have a, a jar and you're putting rocks in a jar, if you put the big rocks in first, then you can fill in the rest of the spaces with the little rocks and the pebbles and the sand. So if we get the big rocks in there first, we know we're kind of covered. That, that leans us into that mindful and purposeful, uh, intentional area, right? But it doesn't mean that we can't enjoy our foods and add in some of those um, other things as well. So what we know in the, for the US Dietary Guidelines, it's kind of focused on having the appropriate amount of calories to maintain a healthy weight. It's very important to have a variety of foods, variety of fruits and vegetables, Grains, um, as, as grains are foundational for a lot of what we eat, making sure that half of those come from whole grain sources. Fat-free, low-fat dairy, including milk, yogurt, cheese, and fortified alternative, um, kind of dairy alternatives that we have. 
A variety of protein foods, including seafoods, lean meats, poultry, eggs, beans and peas, nuts, seeds, um, kind of some of those alternative plant proteins. Because it, you know, just because you're a vegetarian doesn't mean that you can't follow dietary guidelines. There's um, plenty of guidance regarding um, that dietary um, pattern that you can get from there. Healthy oils, um, fats we know are a concentrated source of energy, and we'll get to that on the next slide. But then we also want to kind of balance that and making sure that we are limiting foods with high in saturated fats, trans fats, added sugars, and sodium. It's just being mindful again. It doesn't mean that it's you know, exclusionary, it's just making sure that we're having the choices, filling in the jar with the big rocks first. So with that, we want to be able to balance your plate with the food groups, as, and it's an easy way to remember. ChooseMyPlate.gov in the U.S. is a great site to be able to go to from the government. It's based on the dietary guidelines, but it's also visually showing you what a plate should look like. Um, and as a result, you can also dial in your personal information of height, your weight, uh, your activity level, your food preferences, and it will provide you some very specific and targeted recommendations if that's what you're looking for. If you're an athlete and you're wondering, gosh, am I, am I eating enough calories to be able to fuel my activity? That's a great place to start. So you're really able to kind of um, get a little bit more personalized information um, and, and target that for you. Um, when we talk about kind of like macronutrients, and so those are the, the protein, fat, and carbohydrates, they make a, a majority of, of what um, our nutrients are, versus micronutrients, micro small, so vitamins and minerals, um, all play an important role in what we um, eat and nutrients to fuel our body and fuel our inner strength. But proteins really are the building blocks of our body. Um, they provide form and structure, they're involved in hormones, um, so they're you know, really important um, to be able to, to have a good foundation of, of protein. Fats are a concentrated energy source in our um, diet patterns. Um, they provide uh, that, that energy fuel that can be stored for later um, and that is easily accessible. Carbohydrates are also very important when it comes to energy because really our, our brains really only function from the preferred nutrient they, they, they want the, the energy from carbohydrates. <clears throat> and then vitamins and minerals, they're so, they're so important, part of uh, so many functions within our body. They're you know, needed only a little bit, but they provide a lot of support to um, whether it be in protein metabolism or energy metabolism or antioxidants to protect our body. So there's lots of um, important vitamins and minerals that really help support, play a supporting role in our diet, but very important um, as a part of that. <laughs> so fueling our day, it's really important. And I, I wanna say it a couple of times because I, I know a lot of, I, you know, I have teenagers. Um, I know teenage boys especially. Um, I know how busy life can be for uh, teens these days. And it's really important to be mindful and be purposeful about regular meals and snacks. You know, it's easy to kind of, oh gosh, I'm running late for school, I gotta run out the door, and you forget to have breakfast. Or, um, oh, I'll just have a, a snack later, or, or what have you. You know, it's really important to ensure that you're getting enough calories uh, to support what you're trying to do for the day, that you're starting your day strong so you can be alert and really present uh, in what you're doing for that day, whether it be in classroom or um, excuse me. I talked about hydration earlier. I need to make sure that I'm staying hydrated. <clears throat> Which leads me into hydration is essential. Wow, that was pretty good. Um, it wasn't planned or anything. It, so I, I think, you know, that's another big rock that we want to have in the jar is making sure that you're drinking plenty of fluids during the day. Not only in days like today where it's really humid and hot, and sometimes we forget to drink, or you know, even if you're drinking to thirst, may not be enough, especially if you are doing lots of physical activity. And so having a full water bottle, and I'm so thrilled that we were able to, to offer that for you, but making sure that that's filled all day long and that you're just drinking all day long. Um, it really helps to, I mean, our bodies are 60% water, so it's really important that we make sure that we're staying in good hydration and balance. 
it's the importance of not only just physical activity, but also rest. I mean, how many of us, you know, kind of like push it a little too late at night, and then you would have to get up too early to get to class or work or whatever, and we shortchange ourselves on the amount of rest that we're getting. So not only is it important for our health to be you know, physically um, active, but also making sure that we're taking time for rest. And rest means, you know, really rest, unplug, you know, not having, you know, laying in bed and, you know, looking at your phone or on your computer or what have you. It's like when you go to bed, you know, it's, it's time to unplug, to, you know, really kind of rest and rejuvenate from the day. <clears throat> and lastly, if you get nothing from what I've said today, hopefully you will remember to be purposeful, intentional, and mindful about what you're doing. And not only is that about across, you know, what you encounter during your day, but it's also being about what you're putting in your body and how you're fueling it. So before I go on, because we're doing really great on time, does anyone have any questions about the kind of information that we've talked about thus far? Yes? Uh, it's a little bit random, but kind of related to diet. Do you have any advice for someone who's looking to gain weight in a healthy way? Great question. Thanks so much for, for asking that. I think there are, you know, great ways to be able to take foods that you normally eat and maybe add a little extra calories. So instead of, you know, the normal recommendation for some folks uh, is to have skim milk. Maybe you could have 2% milk instead um, because you're getting the extra calories and a little bit of extra fat in there. So that's a way to add calories to it, but you're still getting the importance of having a dairy food and the calcium and you know all of the vitamin D, et cetera, that's coming with it. So it's taking those healthy foods and maybe trying to find an option that is a little bit more um, adding a few extra calories. So whether it be you know maybe on the sandwich adding a slice of cheese or you know buttering some bread or you know enjoying you know as treat time and a milkshake or those kinds of things. That's really okay, cool. To be honest, um, so I want to be um, a mindful consumer. So, how does Special K stand up against other cereals? Not really name brands, but um, other cereals as far as keeping you um, full the full day and just sugar wise? Do you know that? Sure, so, great question. Thanks so much for, for asking that. I think when you're, you're thinking about um, choices in the morning for breakfast, because obviously cereal, and we're going to you know, talk about that in a little bit, you want to make sure that you're having a balanced bowl, right? And so that not only the nutrients that come with fortified cereals, because we have vitamins and minerals in there that are really tailored towards you know, the needs of uh, consumers, I'm having the, the shortfall nutrients, which you're gonna hear a little bit about later, but that you're, you're getting a lot of the, the calcium you know, from the, the dairy or dairy alternatives. You're getting fiber and whole grains, and so it, you're not gonna have anything that you're gonna eat in the morning that's gonna keep you full all day, um, but I think you know, having the opportunity, because grains themselves um, are a great opportunity to have a foundation for how you start your day and if there's some added sugar in it yes you want to be mindful we, we talked about that and so it's just comparing labels across but from special case perspective they're all um, within the, the what you expect um, from a cereal and they're all less than um, their single digits um, for their sugars for the, for the added sugars because when you start adding things in like fruits and et cetera, then that, you know, that's, you know, you're adding a little bit of extra sugar because you're adding taste, right, from the, the fruits and things like that. Does that yeah. answer your question? Okay, great. Anything else? All right, so why, it's a great segue too, why is Special K here? And why do we want to partner with Girl Up? Well, we are committed to helping every woman live life at full strength by empowering and inspiring strong food and lifestyle choices. That's why we're here. And it's a great opportunity you know, to really meet women where they're at and, and looking to see how you know, strength, 
has predominantly been characterized as kind of one-dimensional. It's just like physical strength, and you think about strength, but it's not. Um, we know it's much more than that, and there's really no definition for inner strength, uh, just solely by itself. It's really that combination of determination and courage, compassion and resourcefulness that is really key to helping women reach our full potential. So we know that collective scientific understanding has shown us that within every one of us women, we have the ability to, to live at our, our own full strength and that potential. But in reality, you know, we get um, detoured by lifestyle choices, um, nutrition intake, shortfall nutrients, et cetera, getting, not getting enough physical activity. Um, so oftentimes we don't reach that full potential and there's, there's that gap. It's important to know what, what we do now helps us and not hinders us um, and so we can get closer to that full potential. And I know it's really hard to think about at your age right now and like I said, I have a 12 year old daughter at home and we have lots of great conversations. It's kind of a burden sometimes to be a child of dietitian, but I really try to you know, help to make sure that um, keeping everything in perspective for her because I really know and I really believe, and that's why I'm thrilled to, to be as a part of this partnership, is we know that strong girls become strong women. And so we want to do everything we possibly can to, whether that be writing articles for your website, um, coming here today and talking about um, strong nutrition, to really help empower you to make choices when there's thousands of choices that you can make every day on what you, you know, eat. And, knowing that you can lean into some choices that really help to prepare you um, for your growth and development and your energy for the day and your activities, et cetera. So we wanna make sure that we're doing all we can um, as a brand to be able to support um, you uh, as strong girls, but we also are supporting strong women. <clears throat> so how about, we're gonna have a little bit of fun, hopefully. So I um, have three volunteers that I would like to come up. Thank you, ladies. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I already, we already have the, the volunteers because I wanted to make sure that we um, we have three bowls back here if you want to um, kind of step back here. Ladies, if you would just say your name so you go across where you're from. I'm Tarina from Virginia. I'm Gabriella from Florida. And I'm Abdos from France. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I was able to, to get them connected this morning. What we're going to do is um, very simple. Um, we have these stirred up recipes. Recipes is kind of a, it's, they're not really recipes. It's just an ability to put some delicious things in the bowl to kind of take um, more excitement, more nutrition, more crunch, more um, personalization to your bowl in the morning and to know how quick and easy it is. Um, and so that's what we have. So we have three recipes that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to have um, kick and crunch here, um, start off with, and then we're going to have peach cobbler and uh, nourish nosh at the end. So ladies, I have the recipes here, and if you want to be able to pour some into your bowl, you know what? You also need the refrigerated ingredients and we're keeping cold to make sure that yogurt's Okay, let's get started here. We got to make sure every, keep everything food safe. And so if you're doing this um, as a demonstration, uh, as a part of your training the trainer lesson, making sure on that lesson plan we put about uh, the importance of being food safe as well. So ladies, if you want, I have recipes here for this um, session, but also the next one, so don't use it all. <laughs> so if you guys want to go ahead and do that, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about why you guys are um, mixing them together. You know, it's, sometimes we think, you know, I mentioned that we need to run out of the, the, the um, house without eating because we're just too busy and we need to kind of get going on our day. When we realize that, you know, it's super easy to, you know, grab a yogurt or grab cereal and be able to throw it together in very little time um, to be able to then also personalize it and add a little, you know, change it up a little bit. So it's not just the same old, same old every day, right? And so not only do we have things like this, but um, some of our other cereals that we've had some fun with is our red berry cereal. I don't know if you've seen that before. It's the one that has the freeze-dried strawberries in it. Add a little um, dried basil and balsamic glaze over the top of it. 
and it kind of kicks it up a notch and get gourmet um, with it. We have a brand new cereal called uh, Blueberry Lemon, and it, um, sprinkle a little thyme on that and have it over um, yogurt with some walnuts, kind of, again, takes it, elevates it, and kind of really impress your family and your, um, at home. Savory, we have one recipe that's really savory here um, that we're gonna um, talk about, and it, it actually has become a favorite of mine because I didn't realize that I really enjoy when you, know, you ask the question about sugar. Um, you know, some people, they're really trying to, to mindfully look at the amount of sugar, and I, I tend to kind of lean into the more savory options. And so this um, one that we're gonna have here is, uh, has avocado, plain Greek yogurt, and cayenne pepper, and some sunflower seeds on it. So, and I was really excited about when I first tried it because I didn't think I would like it so much, and it was really, really good. <clears throat> and it's an opportunity just to lean into some um, world flavors. Another favorite of my, my kids is actually uh, mango and chili um, over Greek yogurt with the cereal. Um, one of my other favorites is our cinnamon pecan cereal. Mix in a little bit of chocolate chips for indulgence. Um, and a little bit of kick of cayenne as well over yogurt, and it's, it's sort of like my own version of a Mexican hot chocolate. So again, you get to have the ability to kind of take things uh, in a different direction, add your own personality and spice to it, uh, literally and figuratively. Um, and that way, you have uh, an opportunity to kind of add more nutrition, you know, from things like the avocados and the seeds, or you get add some personality. So ladies, how about you want to explain what you've done in each bowl and then I want you to taste it and share it with the rest of the group. Okay, so I put um, a, a cup of the cereal, then um, I put some yogurt and some uh, avocado mm -hmm. and paper. Paper. <laughs> okay. Do you want to taste it and see what you, see what you think? Yeah. Avocados were really hard too, so I apologize for that. We looked to try to find some soft ones and couldn't really. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. How about you? Well, I made peach cobbler because I am a master chef. <laughs> and it was a cup of the cereal, three fourths a cup of the low fat milk, some canned peaches. What do you think? Now that you have your mouth full, please tell us what you think of it. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, I did nourish nosh, so I put half a cup of the cereal, three fourths cup of low fat milk, um, almond butter mixed with milk to thin it a little bit, and then half some ripe banana slice. Really good. So you probably have bananas in your kitchen. You probably have cinnamon in your kitchen. <laughs> Almond butter you may or may not have, but you probably have peanut butter. Peanut butter will work just great too. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we're getting really crazy like, you know, when I mentioned the balsamic glaze and, you know, getting all fancy there. But these are, you know, simple and easy. Um, and you saw that it didn't take them hardly any time to put it together, right? So thank you very much. You can take the bowls back and eat them if you like. Or you can leave them here too if you're not. <clears throat> All right, so I think we are um, good on time. That's great. So I would rather leave you with more time, but I would love to answer any questions, you know, because we that that's uh, the material that I wanted to cover. And so you can see, you know, as I train the trainer kind of thing, how easy it would be to gather. It wouldn't take a whole lot of time to um, talk to your girl at club and, you know, teach them, be an expert on nutrition for them, right? <clears throat> Questions? Yes? You said it's important to have regular meals and snacks, and of course what we ate as when we were little is much different than what we're eating now. So how would you plan out a regular day of meals and snacks? Great question. Because, um, you know, you, as you just said, you're not the same person as you were when you were little when a lot of that was being planned or prepared for you. Mm -hmm. And so now you're taking a lot more of that responsibility, the, hence the reason why I even wanted to talk about this. because. As you've gotten older, you have more freedom in the kitchen or freedom 
to purchase your own food, you know, whether it be at school or at convenience stores, etc. And so again, it comes back to, you know, understanding what your needs are. So I would encourage you to check out um, Choose My Bowl and figure out exactly like, you know, the, what you need to fuel your day and based on your tastes and, and preferences, kind of some ideas. And then ensuring, based on your schedule, what does that look like? Are you the kind of person when you wake up in the morning, you immediately have to eat or you kind of need to wake up a little bit and then eat a little bit later, you know, after you've gotten up? You know, is it you need to, like for my um, high schoolers, their lunch is really early. Of course, they get to school early. So they're at school by uh, 7.15. And so they eat a really early breakfast before heading out the door. Um, usually it's cereal because it's something quick and easy and they get out the door. But then they have lunch at like 1040. And so that's their lunch, but they're out of school by 230. So their day is different. And so it's how do you plan that and, and you know take a snack. So when it gets to be one o'clock and I know my son's gonna go do cross country after school, he needs to have something to fuel that because he had lunch at 1040. So it's kind of looking at your day and kind of figuring out how it works for your particular schedule at that time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Stacy, I'm happy to share uh, an app that I use is um, from uh, it's another brand. It's called Under Armour. It's called My Fitness Pal. Um, it's a free app if you guys want to check it out um, if you haven't already, but it's a really great way to track not just your calorie intake, but what, whether you're getting the right nutrients through the day. And it tells you when you've reached your protein goals and your iron goals, when you've gone too far on sugar or, on, or another nutrient. Um, I find it really helpful. And it also helps you track uh, exercise and physical activity. Yeah, especially if you are wired, the kind of person that you want to know all of that, that detailed information. Yeah, there's lots of apps like yep. My Fitness Pal out there that are great for that. Yep. Great group. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so high in calories or like just even um, dieting, say, is um, affects uh, girls our age uh, a lot. So high calories can get very um can get like mess up your head and some people say oh you should do that or just go with the way you feel or, or because I think there's been generations that have so focused on calorie restriction to influence you know what their body looks like I think now we're finally at a time and a place especially for young women to know that and even in young men as well um, but the importance of that, you know, choosing those healthy and being mindful things first. Um, it's not necessarily about watching calories, it's, or counting calories, it's looking at the quality of those calories. Um, because we wanna be confident in our bodies as they are, you know, that they, 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 you know, we don't wanna be defeated every single time that we walk out the door or have to think you know, doubt or question our food choices, and so many of us do, and, and being able to have the confidence and knowing that I'm being mindful, purposeful, intentional about what I'm eating, and I'm, I'm choosing, you know, healthy things, and, you know, I'm, I'm able to, you know, achieve the fitness goals that I want, and, you know, all of those kind of packaged together give you the confidence to know that, you know, you are who you are, and you're strong. Does that make sense? That's good. That's good. I've not read that one. I'll have to yeah, pick that one up. Yeah, she's amazing. Just find her on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right. Well, make sure you fill up your water bottles before you leave. Unless <laughs> anybody else has any questions. All right. Thank you so much.
guys on fire? 